Arsenal warned James Madison will cost £100 million by Leicester boss Brendan Rodgers. The Leicester boss thinks Madison could be every bit as valuable to them as British record signing Jack Grealish is to Manchester City. And with Arsenal rumoured to be lining up a summer swoop, Rodgers has warned it will take a similar offer to prize Madison away from the King Power Stadium. After beating City in the Community Shield, Rodgers said, I think they are both close. They are both very talented players. Stylistically, I think they're the same. They are both creators. But I would say they are both totally different. One is a dribbler, one commits people down the sides. James is more central and he's more of a passer. So yes, they are both creative players but stylistically they are both very different. Everyone could see today how hard James works for the team, his quality and how he takes the ball. His eye for the last pass. He is a wonderful talent and I thought he was excellent tactically because they really challenge you in that respect. I thought he was brilliant. In my opinion, £100 million for James Madison is unbelievable. Perhaps Arsenal should drop this target and focus on Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva. According to the Mirror, Silva could be available to sell after Jack Grealish's £100 million move to Man City. Arsenal could also return to Lyon midfielder Hossam Ouar, who is said to be keen on joining Arsenal for a only price about £25 million. Arsenal preparing to battle Tottenham for Fiorentina striker Dusan Vlahovic as alternative to Lautaro Martinez. Arsenal are keen on signing Inter striker Lautaro Martinez. They also make player plus cash offer for Inter striker Martinez, who is valued at £65 million. However, Arsenal will run out of opportunities to buy Martinez after his agent confirmed he wants to stay in Italy to play football. Speaking to TYC Sports, Martinez's agent, Alejandro Camano, said, Lautaro is happy at Inter and in Italy. His decision is to stay. In a further interview with FC Inter 1908, he was also asked about Spurs' bid, adding, he is never going to have a fight with Inter to leave the club. Never. Lautaro is an Inter player and he's happy in Italy. It is reported that Arsenal have turned to another target to replace Lautaro Martinez. Arsenal have joined the race to sign Fiorentina frontman Dusan Vlahovic and could move ahead of rivals Tottenham in the battle to land the in-demand striker, according to reports. The Serbian striker enjoyed an excellent campaign in Serie A last season, netting 21 times, and is on the radar of a host of clubs around Europe. Arsenal expect to land a fee for Inketia this summer, while Lacazette will be out of contract next year, meaning Mikel Arteta is keen to bring in a new young forward. The Italian side do not want to lose the young striker and are keen to tie him down to a new deal, but an offer of €60 million, Euros, £50.8 million pounds, is likely to be enough to convince Fiorentina to sell. Arsenal fans reckon new signing Albert Lokonga is better than Paul Pogba after impressive showing against Tottenham. The 21-year-old was making only his second start for the Gunners following his £17 million arrival from Anderlecht last month. Lokonga made his debut on Wednesday during a friendly match with Watford at London Coney. But his first real test came in the friendly clash with bitter rivals Spurs. Although Arsenal fell to a 1-0 defeat, the midfielder passed his test with flying colours. And fans took to social media to hail Lokonga, with some gunas even comparing him to Manchester United's World Cup winner Pogba. One tweeted, Lokonga seems to be absolute quality, love how he plays small passes in the box but hard to read so they actually work out extremely well. Another said, Lokonga could be the difference between us having a decent season or a disastrous one. A third added, don't want to sound dramatic, but Lokonga is levels above Pogba. Lokonga is one of three players Arsenal have signed so far this summer alongside defenders Ben White and Nuno Tavares. Mikel Arteta praises, really good, new Arsenal signing Ben White after Tottenham preseason defeat. Ben White made his first start for Arsenal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium following his £50 million summer move from Brighton and largely impressed. Sun Hung Min clinched victory for the hosts 10 minutes from time when he slotted home Jaffa Tanganga's layoff but Arteta said there were many positives to take from the run-out, one of which was White's performance. He was really good, Arteta said of his new signing. But again, it's a match where they haven't played. Some of them they've only trained for four or five days. So you can still see and we didn't want to risk many more, but it was a good start. To lose any game, to lose against them obviously even more. 
take the positives and learn and for the next time be more prepared and better. We took a lot of good things. We played with a lot of kids as well who did extremely well today, so I think it's good for the preparation. Arsenal agree deal to sell academy graduate Joe Willock. Arsenal have agreed to sell Joe Willock to Newcastle United for a fee of more than £20 million, reports claim. Willock spent the second half of last season on loan with Newcastle and banged in an impressive eight goals. The 21-year-old was Steve Bruce's top target this summer and they are now closing in on a deal. Arsenal have agreed to a deal that would let him join Newcastle, although he has not yet agreed personal terms with the Magpies, according to The Athletic. Willock's expected arrival could mean that Sean Longstaff is allowed to leave the club with former Newcastle manager Rafa Benitez thought to be keen on bringing him to Everton. Arteta had been coy on Willock's absence from a preseason defeat to North London rivals Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday. With Joe we will explain the reasons when we can, said Arteta. When I can say more I will let you know. If you like the video, like, share.